Nate and Tristan here on Bringing the Bacon. And today, Taco Bell has came out with Buffalo Chicken Fries. My mind's racing faster than what I'm trying to talk about. So I'm getting tongue tied. So we got the Buffalo Chicken Fries and the burrito. And I keep looking away from the camera. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Make this quick so I don't take too much time of your day. Burritos, pretty good size. Big. No one Taco Bell in their food costs. And then, still coming up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we were chit chatting. So it's been a while since we bought this. So it may be cold. There's my spork. You got your spork. So these fries, kind of small. Compared to the $3.99 price tag. Or $2.99 $2 price tag. Of course, you gotta think of how much sauce they put in it. Yeah, that's a lot of buffalo. Let me open this up for y'all to see. Well, I'll probably do some major editing to this. Guess I'll edit that out. <laughs> Enter a bottle. And all the sounds and junk. And grumbling. Mmm, buffalo. I don't really see no chicken, though. Or is it? Yeah, there it is, shredded chicken. Oh. A little bit of chicken. A little bit. Can y'all see it? Can y'all? A uh, uh, little bit of shredded chicken. Okay, I knew I heard sirens. I wasn't going yeah. crazy. I don't know where they are, but I heard it. I don't know if that's a Lux uh, or not, or like a... a one of those uh, superstition things, but the last two videos I've recorded, including this one, an ambulance has drove by. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the last the one I uploaded on Friday was an ambulance. Once again, I hope nobody's hurt bad. Oh, it is. Yeah, because they've always got that weird double siren sound. They do. Like, if you can't hear the first one, wait a second, there'll be another one coming behind it. <laughs> um okay so i hope i hope these are hot okay for one because the reaper ranch fries were very very extremely disappointing what they weren't hot it's like you had the flavor of the reaper but it tasted like a hot sauce huh. but i had to add fire sauce to it or diablo sauce to make it even hot hottest pepper in the world taco bell and you couldn't make it hot? <laughs> <laughs> well, pepper eggs, but we won't get into that. <laughs> Where's the Carolina? Where are those? Oh, yeah, never mind. Reaper Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little slow. I, I may strip the audio, jack it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, looks like... A bed of fries with a little bit of toppings. So that's what you get at Taco Bell. So I'm going to get a little bit of chicken. You like sour cream, right? Yeah. Okay. My wife does not. Really? She hates it. Can't stand it. it she touches it sometimes and it makes her sick. Not even mm. with her tongue, just her finger. Really? Yeah. Oh, did I take it all? No. I know they didn't give us much. Okay. Come on, Taco Bell. There we go. Get with the program. We want food. <laughs> Especially for three dollars, people. Three dollars. Mmm. 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 That is good. You have to like buffalo though. It's very, very front forward mm -hmm. and tangy. Very, very forward and tangy. And you get a little bit of heat to it too. Not much, but it's like a the Frank's red hot buffalo yeah, wing sauce. In a hot sauce. I was meaning the wing sauce. Oh, that's yeah. what, because that's what kind of what it tastes like. Hmm. All right, now let's move on. This burrito. Get that off so there's no fur in it. <laughs> Don't worry, I've only wiped the oil dipstick out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, a little motor oil never hurt nobody. Oh. Just don't drink it. We don't encourage the drinking of motor oil. You can drink canola oil, 
olive oil, avocado oil, vegetable oil, any oil you want to. It's not not, not pins oil or motor oil. <laughs> it might not end well for you. I mean, you'd be, you'd be lubed up pretty good, but... What well, what's the good uh, goodness of being lubed up if you're in the grave? That's true. Just take some mirror lights. Oil out. is made from the dead dinosaurs. Remember that. Yeah. And we love burning it. <laughs> Make it We're sorry. cremating the diamond source. The diamond source? Yeah, the diamond source. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, watch me cut through my hand. Uh. You need one of those chain gloves. I'd show you what it looks like, but it's a burrito, people. It's not going to look any different. Until you slice it. Get that cross section. We could be here all day. My knife's dull. I will find that clip. <laughs> Come on. Ah! You need Kidding. a scalpel. I do need a scalpel. Or one of those exacto knives, but then I would cut my hand open. Yeah. Okay. I think I got it to the point I can... Just tear it. Yeah. Get that bottom. So, tortilla. Hmm. Yep. Thank you, sir. All righty. Here's what you get in the Buffalo Nacho Burrito. The same chicken, yeah, some, fries there too. some fries, some buffalo sauce, looks like they're throwing a little bit of lettuce and pico de gallo, or salsa, as they call here. But it doesn't look any different than the nachos, except it's all contained in a handheld package that you can eat it on the go. Ah. Mm. Mm. The burrito definitely, actually the bread itself gives a little bit better taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. The burrito itself, guys, I think, honestly, unless you just like that uh, nacho fries in a bowl <coughs> style um, eating. Of course, on the go, this is really, really good. You prefer to eat in a bowl, but I, I, but like he said, I do believe that the bread gives it a little more zing. <clears throat> I hit a whole pocket of that buffalo sauce. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give us a few minutes. We got to offer CPR. <laughs> <laughs> he hit the buffalo yeah, sauce pocket. <laughs> it's just one single pocket. I think they do that though. This yeah, this it's just half and half. This Taco like, Bell has got to be the worst for. You'll get all the sauce at one end of the burrito. And it just kills you. Yeah. yeah. You'll get all the sauce. Or you'll get all the sour cream. And you'll think you're, there's not any until you get down to that last bite and you get a ball of bread and sour cream. <laughs> What's like the, uh, what is it, the five layer burrito? They re they're really bad for that. Cause yeah. I've, I've had the meat and everything on one side and then the cheese and the sour cream on the other. We could do a video on making a homemade five layer. Ooh. I know exactly how to do it. I worked here. <laughs> At one time, a long time ago, I worked here. And it is literally, all it is, is a 10-inch tortilla. Mm -hmm. I might be telling some secrets, so. Taco Bell is not a sponsor of this video. Get a tortilla, 10-inch tortilla, throw some nacho cheese down. Or no, you throw some beans down. I forgot the beans. Yeah. Throw some nacho cheese down on top of that. You squirt it down. And then you put a 6-inch Tortilla, small tor taco tortilla, yeah. on top of it, and then you throw it down the beef, the nacho cheese, or not, not I don't know what I said nacho cheese, the shredded cheese, and then the sour cream, and then you roll it up. Hmm. That's all it is. But yeah, I'm going in for a second. Ooh, that, that salsa, that. I didn't get none of that the first time. Another example of it all going to one end. That adds a nice zing to it. Yeah. Or not a zing. It's not really a zing. It's not zingy enough to be a zing. <laughs> <laughs> not zingy enough to be a zing, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's not zingy enough to be a zing. It's more like a like a bit of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like like all of a sudden you're eating something that's like you're at a football game and you're going and you're going and you're going. 
and your team's rocking it, and then all of a sudden you bite into the pico de gallo, and it's like the colors of the wind. <laughs> <clears throat> but you get my point. It's really good. What would you rate these two uh, on a scale of one to five? Five being the greatest. I'd probably give it two, two and a half. Being is the fact that I love buffalo sauce. It's like one of my top favorite things. <clears throat> buffalo sauce. Not right. not <clears throat> hot sauce, buffalo sauce. And there's a reason why, and I'll get to that in a second. But buffalo sauce, because it goes on everything. You can have buffalo tenders. You can yes, have sir. buffalo dip. I throw in a little blue cheese. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and plus, there's so many levels of it. You can pretty much make it as hot or as cold as you want, and it's still good sauce. Yep. Can't do that with barbecue sauce. Can't do that with spicy, or not spicy, but a par, a garmesan, garmesan. Parmesan garlic <laughs> sauce. <clears throat> like, if you made Parmesan garlic sauce spicy, it just tastes nasty. I've tried it. Um, Buffalo Wings and Rings in Somerset. <laughs> their, uh, their heat index level. If you want to try a flavor that's not buffalo, don't get any hotter than mild. And the reason for that is because they add the buffalo sauce, and then they add the sauce on top of it. So, <clears throat> the first time I went, I was tainted. All the flavors I had were tainted by the buffalo sauce. Huh. But the actually, funny, funny story about that, I was taking my daughter on a daddy-daughter date the next day and we went back there. <laughs> she didn't go with me the first time. Uh, she was staying the night with somebody or something like that. I don't remember. But we went back there and I got all the flavors except for the buffalo at mild. Yeah. So, and it was really, really good. But the point is, hot sauce on that story subject, I think <clears throat> hot sauce itself is not, um, it's too vinegary. Yeah. Uh, I have, and I, and it may be because I, I foundered on it or burnt myself out on it for all you northern folks. <laughs> uh, I ate so much of it as a kid, I just, unless it's like Louisiana or Frank's, the Texas peat just way too sour for me. <laughs> Way too vinegary. But I've gotten myself more into chili sauces now. Because yeah. they're thick, they're peppery. And, well, they're not even peppery. I don't even want to say peppery. They're chili. E. Yeah. E. 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 <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that they, they could probably dial it down a bit with buffalo sauce. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just I'll, not I'll, a lot. Just take it down. I'll down. give it a solid three. Um... Just simply because they need to spread the ingredients out in the burrito yes. more. Uh, they they did a fairly decent job with that on the on the uh, fries. Oh, definitely. Because I mean, the difference, you know, you got it's all over the place. Harder to not do. Um, when I worked here, I would take the shell, the sides of the burrito, fold them in, and then smear. And that's how I done it. But, you know, when you're in a rush, I know a lot of times you can't do that. And I only worked here two months, so my employment don't really count. <laughs> um, but that goes to say, yeah, they could do a better job at spreading the ingredients out. And a uh, little less buffalo sauce. But that could be because of the maker. It, yeah. They're all in, like, squirt bottles. So uh, it all depends on who's making it. Yeah. They're supposed to go like a Z. Mm -hmm. They could have went Shh. right. Yeah, like not a Z, <laughs> but like a hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm stuck on hemorrhoids today. I'm gonna edit that out. Um. <laughs> um anyway, that's all for today. Uh, stay tuned. We got some big stuff coming up in the month of February and March. Of course. Today is the third day of February when I upload this. Oh. When I, well, for future reference, <laughs> when I talk about a day that it is, it'll be the day that I'm planning on uploading this. Okay. Okay. 
So it'll be February 3rd. We got a lot of stuff planned for the rest of the month. We got a lot of stuff planned for March, and it's just gonna keep getting better, 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 better. Better, better, better. Better, better, better. Better, parquet. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share with your friends, all that other good mumbo jumbo, and um, comment. You'd like to see us do some stupid and wacky stuff? We might do it. We'll try anything once. Just once. <laughs> Maybe twice. Nothing that's going to get us killed or maimed. I might try that. I'll stand back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it. God bless. See you next time. <laughs> yeah.